Hey guys, Block Squad 1000 here, and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. In the last episode, we made our way to the top of Sen's Fortress, and we'd conquered the Iron Golem or something. That uh, Golem or Golem? I don't, I don't know, man. That's a, it's a word that I do not know the pronunciation of. But that doesn't matter. These weird, creepy gargoyle-looking things. I actually took us all the way up here to An Orlando, and this is the destination of our second task in this journey to obtain the Lord Vessel, because the, the Lord Vessel is waiting for us here in An Orlando, and we are going to obtain it. Be wary of gorgeous view. Yes, that is a very gorgeous view. I have to admit, the first time I arrived at this area in my first playthrough, this was the most breathtaking thing I'd ever seen in pretty much any video game. Just, just look at that. Like... They, they they didn't have to put so much detail in this area, but they did anyway, and it it, it, it certainly is amazing. Going right here, we can see that uh, this giant dude is actually alive. So let's try to take him down. These guys actually aren't all that bad, but they can still uh, they can still catch you off guard if you aren't careful. Uh, the lightning spear makes them kind of a joke, to be totally honest. Oh, <laughs> I still got hit, even though I just said that. Uh, all right, wait for it. There we go. He, do, he likes to sh he likes to shield bash, and that usually makes him pretty vulnerable. So just take advantage of that and take him down. Uh, so you, no, he's not going to drop anything. They drop a generous amount of souls, to say the least. Um, all right, I'm going to try to lure this guy out. There's two of them, but I don't want to fight both of them, obviously. So, oh, that was close. I'm going to lure him out here, and then I'm going to take him on. Come on, buddy. You know you want to. There we go. Stabby, stabby. Uh, I'm just gonna... Oh, nice, I staggered him. Seriously, the, the, the lightning spear is so much fun to use because of the sound effects that it makes. I don't really know. It makes like the... Oh. Yeah, also, their shield... Oh, crap! Yeah, their shields fully protect them, so if even if uh, just hitting the shield will basically do no damage. I mean, I think it does a little bit of damage, but not all... Oh, crap. Uh, we should heal, we should heal, we should heal. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we. Ha I mean, we're close to the bonfire already. Uh, you, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to fight them anyway, because you get some cool stuff for doing it. Come on! There we go. I was <laughs> like, why can't I hit you? Okay, now let's go take on the other one. Honestly, I think one of the reasons why Anor Orlando is such a good area, and, I mean, the reason why it's pretty much the best area in the entire game, is because the enemies here are actually pretty good. Uh, in the Dark Souls franchise, I've never really considered the enemies to be particularly special. They certainly look cool, but they just... They're either complete jokes to fight, or they're just nothing interesting. They, I mean, compared to the bosses, the enemies are just really, really generic, in a sense. But, uh, this area has some very, very awesome enemies. Alright, so... Here's what we wanted to open. Uh... Okay, it's not a mimic, that's nice. And we got... Demon Titanite. That's what's dropped by Titanite demons. Anyways, we're gonna take a look at this statue right here because you're you're gonna memorize that face right there, <laughs> to say the least. Um, to anybody who's already played Dark Souls, you've probably already memorized the face because um, I don't know. I, I'm trying to make this subtle for people who haven't played the game uh, because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't played the game because it's it's definitely a game full of surprises. Speaking of which. Even if you haven't played this game and you're just watching this Let's Play, go buy this game. It's worth a playthrough, to be honest. It's just, it's such a good game. I just, I recommend playing it so much. Um, I don't want Let's Plays to, like, be a substitute for actually playing the game. Uh, I'd recommend, if you guys are, haven't played this game and are just watching this, go buy the game and play it. Unless you don't want to play a game that's super, super challenging. If you don't mind the challenge, please, please go ahead and play this game. Alright, so first of all, I want to reinforce equipment. I want to see if there's anything we can... Okay! Yes! We can actually go even further. We can... Now we just... Oh my god, we are one large Titanite shard away from fully upgrading the Uji Katana. That is amazing. Oh boy. Um, Alright, now let's level up. Um, let's go for... Uh, attune... No, not attunement. Let's go for intelligence, uh, dexterity, uh, endurance... Vitality. Yeah, let's go for these. That sounds good to me. Noise. And now there's uh there's this character over here. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. 
If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Alright, and we can also reinforce Estus Flask so we can use the other Firekeeper soul we got from, uh, from Blight Town. So now we have an even stronger Estus Flask. That's amazing. Uh, so she told us to go straight yonder, which is towards that giant castle that we saw in the distance. We could go this way, but I'm just going to say this right now. There's another area off in the distance, right, as you can see right there, and we're actually supposed to go there much later on. But I'm actually going to do that later. I just, um, I like when we actually go to that area, because I just think... I don't really necessarily uh, want to get off track. I mean, I've said that before that I prefer to like, I like it, when I'm when I'm doing main story stuff, then I just like to stay on the path that you're supposed to take, uh, and then save like exploration for when I just really have time, or if I just um, like you know if it's an area that you're supposed to go on, go to later on, that's when I'll save it. That I'll save it for that. <laughs> I don't really know. Some of you guys who prefer, who like doing exploration and stuff like that are probably really, really confused as to why I keep neglecting it, but I promise you exploration will be uh, more of a focus later on. Go down here, and guess what? It's our old buddy the Bell Gargoyle! Yeah, you get to fight these guys again, except this time they're just mini-bosses. Uh, these guys are not responding, so you only gotta kill them once. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna try to cut his tail off because I didn't get to do that in the original boss fight, but also because we have uh, an electric weapon, uh, these guys are actually extremely weak to electricity, so that makes it even easier. Uh, I'm just gonna dodge out of the way there. Come on, I wanna cut your tail off. Buddy. Ah. Noise, noise, noise. Yeah, we are destroying this thing. It's, it's hard to believe that these th this thing, like, when I first played this game, these guys completely wrecked me, and it's just now I can just kill them no problem. Oh yeah, there we go, we got the Gargoyle Tail Axe, and that was a lot of blood, wow. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I've never really understood why this game is rated M, because I, it doesn't feel like a very m ready game to me. It's just there's nothing particularly, like, totally, like, there, there is blood in this game, but it's not, like, over the top. It's it, it's nothing that I think, I, I, to me, I feel like this game could have been rated T, but it's just, like, uh... It's because of, like, I don't know, it might be because this game's so difficult that they rated M or something. I have no idea, to be totally honest with you. Alright, there we go. We killed the bell, the bell gargoyle or whatever. <laughs> and we got some neat souls for that. Now we can jump down here, actually. And there's something pretty cool around this corner. Uh, well, not real. I don't really know. You'll see it for yourself, I guess. Let's go ahead and open up this chest. What's inside? Demon Titanite. That's awesome. We have more Demon ti ti Demon Titanite. Uh, that is pretty sick. Um, we'll save that for much later on, obviously, because we can't do anything with it just yet. Alright, so what we actually have to do is go up here, so we're back on the back on the actual bridge. So, this the first time I played this game, I got so stuck on this part because... Oh, wait a second. We didn't have to go around, did we? No, we did not. Anyways, I got so stuck on this part that I had no idea where to go for, like, uh, like days. But you actually have to walk on this. This is a classic example of thinking outside the box and walking on things that don't feel like you should be able to walk on. Uh, and then you gotta roll on to here. Or, I guess, don't roll on. <laughs> There's broken windows, so that's nice. Now, hey, what's up? You suck. Yeah, these guys are pretty pathetic, to be totally honest. Hey. Stabby, stabby. Oh, no, he dodged. You, you, you're, you're a wannabe PvP ganker. You're, 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 uh, you kind of suck. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go up this ladder. I believe that's what we have to do, actually. And then, let's... Okay, this part is really cool to me. Uh, we're gonna pull out our shield. And we have to walk across this narrow little passage. Because there's gonna be some of these guys throwing knives at us. Uh, and we don't like that. Obviously. Uh, so we're gonna try to take them out. This part honestly does make me quite nervous because, uh, I don't think this part is really hard, it's just because of the, the narrow passageways, but at the same time it feels awesome that you're fighting up here because this is not an area you'd expect to fight on. Um, alright, come at me. Oh god, I almost walked off the edge and- oh no! No, no, no! No, 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 what? Oh no! Arrgh. I hate the physics when it comes to, like, when you knock an enemy off the edge. 
if you're if you're locked into an attack animation, it always sends you flying right off the edge, and that sucks. That happens to me so much in this game. Um, I don't. I just. I don't really know what to say about that. To be honest, it it kind of annoys me when that happens, because um, it's kind of beyond my control. I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm just trying to attack them, but I don't realize they're gonna fall off the edge. So I'm pretty much just like pressing R1 repeatedly, and then once they fall off the edge, then I go jumping after them because, for some reason, the developers put that in. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be punishment for getting too greedy, if you're like on a narrow passage or something, I don't know, I don't know, but it's kind of annoying. Alright, let's try that a second time, we don't have to fight the Bell Gargoyle this time, which is, which is sweet. Uh, my plan for this episode is to just make it inside the castle, I don't really know, uh, we're gonna, because this area is very long actually, this area is like, this area might as well be two areas in one, because like, there's, like, I don't know, it's just very, very long, and I feel like this might, might be one of the few areas that we have to split across two episodes, to be honest with you. Uh, alright. Oh, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. Don't want to fall there. So, so much uneven passage, like, un uh, uneven walkways that... It, okay. Die. Wait, you're not dead yet? Are you serious? Hey. Hey, buddy. You're dead. Uh, ow. Ow, that was not necessary. I... Buddy, get back here! Ah, uh, I get it. You're trying to be cool like I am, but it's not gonna work. Dodge rolling looks stupid on you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being dumb. Okay, take two. <laughs> Let's not fall. I, I don't want that to happen again because that was, frankly, pretty embarrassing. That was almost as bad as last episode when we got sliced off the edge of the uh, the walkway in Sense Fortress by that blade trap. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Come on. Uh, wait for it. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, 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 god. Um. There we go. <laughs> I got so scared there. Okay. Um, let's go over here. Anyways, as you can see right there, there's actually an item, uh, like, stuck inside the chandelier. Let's be irresponsible and break the chandelier. Uh, this message says, try ranged battle. Uh, I guess that's warning us about enemies up ahead. Anyway, so yeah, the, uh, the chandelier or whatever now fell to the floor, so we can pick that up later on. Okay, come on. I'm trying to be so careful here. Uh, when you're going around the edges, they're, they're nice enough to at least provide these little, these little turns, or whatever you want to call them, to make it a bit easier. Alright. Stab three times, and you're... Wait, no, you're not dead yet? Okay, 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 alright, I, I, I take it back. Now you're dead. Feels bad, man. Alright. Uh, as you can see, there's another dude over there. Hey, what's up? There's also some cool little statues over there. Uh, which I was trying to point out, but then this guy showed up. Like a jerk. No, 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 bad, bad, you're, you're so irresponsible on these, on these walkways, you get yourself killed, man. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you're, oh, poor guy. I mean, I know he wasn't alive to see that happen, but sometimes you can do such weird things with the ragdoll physics in this game. Alright, so you can see some neat little statues right there. Um, that's pretty nice. I love the architecture of this place so much, it feels so, like, believably designed. It feels like this area was actually designed like a real like, city or whatever, with gothic architecture and stuff like that. It almost feels like this area almost was like a precursor to Bloodborne's kind of architecture, where it's just like, all this type of, like, just all this architecture, but they like, created one whole game out of it. Alright, here we go, through this fog gate. Um, now, I think there's gonna be another Bell Gargoyle right here. Yes, it's over there. So, we'll have to fight that in a sec. In the meantime, though, we get to push this. And that will actually lower the bridge. So now we have a shortcut. We don't have to go through the, the freaking, uh, we don't have to go through the freaking whole area, the, the church or whatever again. But now, we get to fight a good old Balgrog oil. Uh, what's up? Why weren't you there for the, for, to, oh, whoa. Why weren't you there to assist the other guy? Then it would have been like a legit rehashed battle. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. When you run out of commentary ideas, you need to say stupid stuff. Okay. Come at me. So far, you're already... For, for whatever reason, I... 
Oh my god, I thought he just fell off the edge, and that would have been amazing. For some reason, I always seem to have a harder time with the second Bell Gargoyle in this area than the first. I don't know if that's because of, like, the actual area you fight him in, which is, like, this tight little area right here, or what? I don't know, but I always seem to get hit a bit more than the first one. Alright. Ow. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna heal. We're gonna heal. Okay. What's up? You trying to run away? Because I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you. Alright. Stabby, stabby. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. S stabby again. Okay, we died. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't... Ugh, man. I don't even know what to say at this point. Um, Alright, so we're gonna try... We're gonna try that a second time. We'll, we'll we'll hopefully have a bit more luck. I'll 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 gonna I'm gonna cut ahead till when we get down there because I have to admit the one thing that I dislike about Anor Londo is running through this area. It takes forever, and there's so few like enemies in between. Like there are a lot of tough enemies in this area, but they're very very they're very, bleh, they're very spread apart, so it's like reaching them just takes forever. Um, and that's the one thing that I dislike about Anor Londo. It's not a big gripe. I mean gives you some breathing room, I guess, to heal and stuff, but it's just, it just takes so long to reach the next enemy. And I mean, if it weren't for combat, to be honest, and exploration, then Dark Souls would probably be one of the most boring franchises in history. Yet, I don't really know what to, I, you know, that's a thing. I don't even really know ex exactly how to describe what makes Dark Souls so fun. I think you just need to play it and find out for yourself, to be honest. Like, so many people I've seen on the internet say, what's so fun about Dark Souls? It's just a really hard game. It's just... Like, how do you have fun playing such frustrating games? And it's just, I don't know. I just I just play them, and it's fun. It feels cool to overcome super challenging bosses and stuff. I don't know. Alright, so I don't know where all my, my souls went. They seem to have uh, fallen somewhere. But in the meantime, we're just going to take this dude down. Oh, great, we stunned him. Our stagger... Ow. Ow, okay. Uh, that's... Okay. Nice, we cut his tail off, but now I'm gonna heal because I don't want to die. Ow! That's not fun. Stabby, stabby. Ah, I was trying to dodge. I couldn't do it for some reason. And now that's the worst part. They'll do that flying thing and they'll just stun lock you over and over and over again because it takes you forever to get back up and then they just follow up with another one of those. Okay, can I. Why can't I hit you? Alright. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, okay, heal, heal, heal. Oh, that was scary. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ow, come on, come on. Nice, okay, um, that works for me. We got the gargoyle helm, I don't really care. I got a bit too greedy there. I just, I was just getting tired of fighting that thing, so I just, just try strong poison. I don't want to try strong poison. I, I'm a melee build. I just want to melee everything. <laughs> I don't know. So we got seven. We got seven. Um, seven Estus. That works for me. I'm gonna try to preserve at least five for the second half of this area because we're about halfway through towards the bonfire at this point. Um, there's one of these giant soldier dudes. We're gonna go ahead and just take him down. Take him down efficiently without attracting the other one. I like to try to bring him down the stairs a bit so that it doesn't attract the other guy because that can lead to problems. Trying to fight two at the same time is a nightmare. Because most of the time you're just trying to find opportunities to dodge, but then you don't get any chances to attack. Alright, come down here. Buddy, you're, you're so, so slow. Just, I'm trying to fight you. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this is bad. I uh, was hoping I could save more Estus, but we have to use another one, because I don't want to die. Ow! 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 Um, yeah, this area is so tough, it's insane. Um, can you just get back here, man? Alright. There! Wait, what? That didn't kill him? Come on! Can I just kill you? There we go. <laughs> I was getting so tired of that. Okay, now we're gonna fight the other one. And we still have six Estus. That works for me. Q will dodge. Alright. Alright, okay. We got this. Ah! That hitbox, though. It's ridiculous. Okay.
Okay. Stab again. I think he's very, very close. Yeah, he's close. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Um. No, no. Uh. Die. Oh, boy. Okay. At this point, we've still got five Estus. Um. This next part. I'm a little bit frightened, to be totally honest. We gotta fight three of these guys. These are the guys who actually took us up here in the first place. I don't know why. I don't know why they're suddenly. Want, they suddenly want to fight us, but we gotta fight them. And to be totally honest, these enemies are super like nimble and they're hard to hit, to be honest. And also, uh, using a shield is kind of useless unless it's a 100% damage reduction shield because these things cut through your shields like butter. Um, all right. Oh, okay. Uh, buddy, I don't want. I don't want any. I don't want any. I want to. I want to fight you. You're, you're my friend, or at least your friends are my friends. All right. Imagine. Ow. They have their own lightning spear, I guess. Okay. This is taking a while. I'm sorry. This is very slow. Uh, thankfully, the other two can be cheesed quite easily. Uh, okay. I'm scared now. I'm very, very scared. Strong attack. Noise. Okay. He's uh. Use another Estus. So the other two can be cheesed very, very easily. First of all, this guy, if you can attract him, he'll attack and then try to jump back if he'll do it. Come on, do it. Are you gonna do it, man? If he does, it'll it'll be awesome. Uh he's not gonna do it, is it? it is is come on. Do it! Yay! <laughs> yeah, he just jumps back and falls off the edge. The last one, if you have a bow and arrow, which I do obviously. You can just shoot him off the edge. Bye bye. Awesome. Um. Now for okay. I'm. Here's the thing. I actually want to switch shields at this point. I'm gonna switch to the Dragon Crest shield because this thing uh is. A... I don't really know how to describe it, but it's just a bit better for what's coming up ahead. I'm gonna switch back to the Grass Crest shield in a bit, but in the meantime, I want to use this. So this part. Uh, you gotta fight two of these electric bat jerks, um, but there is a way to deal with them. I have to admit that at this point, I just like to try to cheese them because I hate fighting them, uh, but if you bring them onto the bridge here, you can totally just trick them into, like, because they can't come up, so you just gotta lure them in, and then just attack them, and then you'll kill them eventually, and then the last one, like, I don't know, if you're lucky, one of them will even fall off the edge, because that'll happen sometimes. Uh, it has happened to me before. Uh, at the very least. Ow. Ow. Yeah, okay. I, you see what I told you about how it cuts through your shields like butter? Okay, this is getting a bit annoying. I'm not... I'm a very, very low... Okay, that one fell off the edge. Okay. As you can see, I'm not a very patient person when it comes to fighting these guys. So I'm gonna try to... Take him down quickly. Come on! Ah! Takes so long. Oh boy, I don't I don't even know what to talk about. I'm just waiting for him to come over here. Uh, ow! All right, use another Estus. Apparently, oh god, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Um, all right, stabby, stabby. Ah! Uh, oh god! Oh god! We're so close to the bonfire at this point. I don't want to die. <sighs> just get over here. Alright, there we go. One last time. Dead. Okay. Drink another Estus. And this this right here, my friends, prepare for the ultimate challenge of An Orlando. Or, one of them at least. The An Orlando Archers. These guys are Silver Knights. Uh, they are one, one of the few remaining Silver Knights in the entire world of Lordran. Remember how I told you that like, Gwyn's Knights became Black Knights because their armor got burned? But the last remaining ones remain here in Orlando, and these guys have these giant arrows, and these guys are super annoying, because you gotta fight them on these tiny little ledges on the side of the building. Thankfully, you're only required to fight one, but this part is genuinely, like, super, super stressful. Oh god. Oh god. That was, that was close. No! No! Okay. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no! Oh no! <laughs> See what I mean, man? 
see what I mean. Oh, <laughs> we were so close. We were so freaking close. Oh. I'll be right back. All right, we got this, man. We got this. I ran past these guys, and oh my god, one of them just fell off the edge. That's that's amazing. All right, so we got this. Uh, I am very very nervous because as you saw before. These guys suck, because they're placed right at the end of the outside of this castle. I mean, I know that it's like, a final trial or something like that, but just, dear god. Like, you think that this is tough enough? Alright. Oh god, okay. Take out your sword already. Alright, so this part. Now we gotta fight this guy one-on-one, -on -one and... Come on. I'm trying to parry, I'm trying to parry him. Alright, I got this. And... Parry! Nice! Ah, eat that! And then... Oh no! No, no! Oh, oh. Okay, well that was satisfying. I got him to... I got him to jump off the edge. He must have been so ashamed that he couldn't live any longer. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... that was satisfying. We made it. We freaking made it into Anne Orlando's castle or whatever. <laughs> I think it's a castle. It might be a church or something. I'm pretty sure it's a castle. I mean, what else would it be? But if we go in here, there's a there's a sweet little bonfire, and also there's there's the there's the sun bro himself. Hey. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Any time you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. All right. Uh, let's talk to him again. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> He's the best. He really, really is. Oh boy. Have I, I've, never, I've never been so happy to see a bonfire in my life. This is amazing. Uh, let's level up. Um, let's go for faith. Let's go for faith. Alright. I'll join the Sun Bros eventually, Solaire, don't you worry. I just need ten more faith. Okay, um, now, let's go ahead and give ourselves, uh, two humanity so that we can just, uh, obviously, because we, we, we want to, uh, we want to go ahead and, uh, what am I trying to say? We're, we're gonna, we're gonna kindle this bonfire. Because, uh, that's what we want to do, obviously. Uh, make ourselves human. Uh, now here's the thing about Anne Orlando. Anne Orlando is absolutely teeming with player summons. Uh, people seem to... I mean, Anne Orlando is a hot spot for player summoning because this area is just so beloved. So if ever you want to play with other players, whether it be PvP or co-op, uh, there should be tons and tons of summon signs around here. I mean, last time I was playing this game, there were like three in this... Yeah, there's one right there. What's up, buddy? Uh, this is... Nijcom1777. Okay, um, I don't know, maybe we'll summon him nepo next episode, who knows. Uh, but before we end the episode off, we are actually going to go through here, because I want to take out this Silver Knight right here. What's up? Now that we're not fighting you on the edge of a tiny, like, alright, I'm gonna, I, so I'm, I'm the god of parrying these guys, to be honest, I, I almost never screw up a parry against fighting Silver Knights. But I will demonstrate that once he does his his easily parryable attack. I just I'm just waiting for him to do it. I'm just waiting for him to do it. I know that this is gonna take a lot longer because of that, but I just I want to show it off. Come on, do it. There we go. Parry. Noise. My favorite thing to do is to parry them once, then get behind them, and as soon as they get up, slash a couple times. Oh god. No. Okay, I got. All right, my bad. That, that was nothing but my bad. <laughs> what was I thinking? I seriously, I, I got I got so greedy there. Because my last playthrough, I had a weapon that, like, I guess because the Uchigatana is sort of... I don't know, the Uchigatana seems to, like, do little damage, like... I don't really know how to describe it. It's like, like the, the last time I played, I had a weapon that was able to, like, do tons and tons of damage with a single hit. But this one seems to do... A lot of small amounts of damage, but then it does like bleed damage or something. I don't even know to be honest. I'm still figuring out the Uji Katana. I mean, who knows if it'll stay my main weapon forever? I just, I mean, I love it obviously, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it for now. Uh, in the meantime, let's backstab you. 
And then... Stabby stab! Oh, crap. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. I want to parry you. I know I don't have to at this point, but I just want to. Just do it. There we go. Backstab. It doesn't matter. All right, he's dead. And that makes me happy. All right, let's uh, open this up. What do we get? Sunlight medals. Those are pretty sweet weapons. Weapons. No, items that I will demonstrate much later on, but we'll keep them for now. Uh, now we're going to go back to the bonfire and end the episode off. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Dark Souls. Next time, we're going to make our way through Anorlando Castle and hopefully make our way towards the boss, which is imminent. And I'm excited. See you guys later. Bye.